up my love bugs and love muffins this is mama love good morning good morning good morning so i do have a cooking content for you all that'll make sense <laughs> so i try to get for being big words <laughs> trying to be all extravagant anyways no i do have a cooking video for you all something uh low carb something healthy um, and this is my ingredients. This is what I'm gonna be using. Okay, so here I have it already on my cutting board. I have a little bit of, uh, this is just enough for me, y'all. Nobody else want none, so. This is some spinach. These are green onions. This is shrimp. And eggs, three eggs. And I'm gonna cook with olive oil. And I got my seasonings. And those are my ingredients. I'm about to make it happen on this Sunday morning, okay? We about to have breakfast and chit chat with Mama Love. Start with my eggs. I'm just gonna season my eggs. A little pepper won't hurt. Season salt, onion powder, and garlic powder. I told y'all I love my onions and garlic, y'all. Hello. I'm gonna set that over to the side, and then I'm gonna come over here, and I'm gonna do the same thing on my shrimp and on my onions. Okay, but on my shrimp and onions, I'm gonna use a little bit of Old Bay garlic and herb. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. So we're gonna do that. A little. I'm gonna take this with my clean hand itself. Yes, I always call that out, make sure. My clean hand itself, and I'm gonna scrape this in my hand, and I'm gonna go to the pot. Okay? And as it cooks and browns a little bit, by the way, I did tell you that is olive oil. This one of the few shrimp, y'all. Usually it just be someone else, but you know, the kids didn't want any, so I just got a little few shrimps in there I'm doing. And that's gonna fry up real nice. Uh, and also, I'm gonna add my spinach to it. Now this is a nice meal that you can have, a nice breakfast meal, I should say, that you can have. These are cooked shrimp, by the way. I'm pretty sure some of y'all don't know that, but I'm just saying. Y'all can have this, and once this is all done, we're going to get our scrambled egg going. But we want to make sure this is all cooked up and nice, it's already nicely seasoned. This is a low carb meal, you all. A low carb, this is healthy. Olive oil, like I said, slightly. Green onions. We'll get that to fry for bringing up. Five more minutes, you just wanna. This is real good, y'all. You could add mozzarella cheese to this, make it real beautiful, you know? But uh, not gonna do it. Just gonna stick with the eggs and uh, brown the shrimp a little because the shrimp is our cooked shrimp and it's already thawed out, so it's not frozen or anything like that. And like I said, we just want a little nice amount. Got y'all. This is so easy and so quick, and don't cost that much. And when you get tired of those smoothies in the morning, and you know you want something healthy, this is the best route to go. Make sure you use olive oil. Make sure you're cooking it with olive oil. I'm stirring that around, I'm thinking about it. Olive oil. Okay. Like that. Set over there, really. You guys, it doesn't take long to Get that together there. Um, my shrimp, I don't want a uh, too crispy. Um, doesn't take long for green onions. Um, also, here I go. So I'm gonna um, pour in my egg. I'm not gonna take any of that oil off because, like I said, it's olive oil and water, basically. I could let that just sit there and bubble up like that. 
But however, I like scrambled eggs. I could almost make this an omelet if I wanted to. But like I said, um, cooking with olive oil. I'm real careful. I don't want to um, stay too long on it because, uh, you know, uh, tend to burn. And I don't want any burnt food. And you can see how quick that was that uh, I made this up, of course. You can tell when the eggs are done. And yeah. This is so delicious, y'all. I had made this uh, one day last week and uh, I just got tired of the same thing for breakfast, you know, just your know, bacon and your eggs and you got to run and take your blood pressure pill because you're like, okay, so I'm going to turn it off, but I don't want my eggs all hardened good enough and going to scrape the pot too much. And then here we got this healthy meal that you do not have to uh, regret when you're on a diet. And I'm just going to take my plate and put me some more here. A nice amount. I wanted to come back for seconds. Uh, that's it. It's done. Um, there it is. And I don't have to feel guilty uh, for it. Here's the plate. That's how it looks. And. And what you do is you have your glass out and you get the orange juice. Pour your nice glass of orange juice, you all. 100% pure orange juice. Yes. Y'all, yeah, like I said, this is so delicious and healthy. And uh, you would think that I would be skinny by now. I was honest with some of you. Uh, I say some of you because mm -hmm. all y'all didn't watch. But I know y'all know that I lost 40 pounds. I can't 15 back. So I decided to get back on it. Look at that, y'all. I already showed y'all that. That looks so good. It's gonna taste so good too. Lord bless the food I'm about to receive, Lord God. Let it be nourished to my body, Lord God. And pure for any impurities, Lord God. I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. So, um, yeah. Let me see. Mmm. It's so good and healthy. With no carbs and no fat, no oils, nothing like that. And the spinach, I love spinach, y'all. All I know, I eat spinach out the bag. That is just so good. I'm gonna talk about the time that I had yesterday. I met up with uh, some YouTubers yesterday, me and the kids. And uh, we really had a nice time. It was really nice, it was beautiful. And I just wanna elaborate on something. Um, I want uh, to say I love you, Trey and Nene. I love y'all so much. I'm so glad that I met y'all. Um, I'm, I'm so glad that I met Prissy P and Sh Sh Atlanta Shawty. I don't want to go to calling out names because I'll miss somebody then, you know. But I was introduced to a, a lot of YouTubers. Um, and I should have wrote their name down, y'all. Y'all forgive me. I'm so sorry. Um, but we all gathered where uh, Prissy P was in Georgia because she she's down here. And we all were in the room and... It was just beautiful, you know, everybody was putting in work with their, you know, channels and stuff and doing different things on their channel. But I just wanted to say this, and, and this is the part why I said it's, it's so ashamed, you know, because I just got to keep it real. It was so much love shown to me tonight, or last night, I'm sorry, uh, in that room. And I told them all, I said, you know what, when I first walked in, the vibe was beautiful, you know. And I just told them, I said, it's a shame because... You don't even receive, nowadays, that much love in the church. And that's what people 
you know, we kind of lost morals of how Christianity is. Um, not even Christianity. You know, people forgot that God is love. You know what I'm saying? And he shows no respect to person. Regardless of what you've done, regardless of what sin you may have committed, God is a forgiving God. And he is the one that says, come as you are. He's not talking about so much your dress, but he's talking about your heart. When he says, come as you are, he'll do that. He is the one that can cleanse us and wash us from all unrighteousness. He is the one who can do that. Um, our, our righteousness to him is as a filthy rags. So there's no self-righteousness. There's no, there's no, you can't clean yourself up. You can't do it yourself. It's got to take a God in heaven above because, you know, after all, Jesus died for our sins and he is the one who can cleanse us from our sins because that's what he died for. The blood was shed for that reason. And I just wanted to say that so much love was in that room last night. Um, you know, it was almost like a retreat, you know, and everybody, like I said, it was, you know, they had a spread out, you know, it was food and uh, crab legs and crawfish and, you know, there's all kind of snacks and things. It was really nice how she had it all set up when everybody had their cameras and everybody was just going to work, you know, and it was just a beautiful thing to fellowship like that. And I was like, I enjoy this, you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes, you know, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing to fellowship, you know, but when you outside the church and you have just as much as a good time as you do in the church, because you know, in the church, you, sometimes it's funny. People act funny and it's clicks and things like that in the church. And a lot of times, you know, people feel uncomfortable because they feel unloved because you got people that shows respect to person. And that's why I love about God. He shows no respect to person y'all. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter about uh, what you used to be or what you've done. You know what I'm saying? About how important you is and how much money you have and how much prestige and you know, it don't matter about any of that, you know? But what it matters is that we love each other as Christ told us to love. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was the number one commandment was to love one another. Love God with all your heart, mind, and soul and love your neighbor as yourself, okay? And we felt somewhat as a church, um, we become judgmental um, and we make people feel bad to where they don't even want to come to church. Before they can get in the door real good, we didn't already, you can't wear that, take that off, put that skirt down, put a, take the nails off, take off the makeup. You know, until people be like, I ain't, I, I'm, I'm good. I, I, I watch, I watch uh, church at home from a big screen. And it shouldn't be like that. You know what I'm saying? You should be able to come to the church because a church is a spiritual hospital, okay? And uh, you come there to get healed, set free, and delivered. And that's what it's for. It's a spiritual hospital. When you walk into a hospital, a natural hospital, ain't nobody going to tell you, why are you here? Oh, she's sick. I don't like her. I, I don't like her sickness. You know what I'm saying? Judging people's sicknesses. And, you know, that's the same thing when we go in, inside the church spiritually, judging people's sins. They're in the right place. That's like talking about a big fat person that walks in a gym and gets on a treadmill. Ooh, look how big she is. Yes, but look where she at. Look, look, I'm on a treadmill. I'm where I'm supposed to be, you know? And, and we judge people all the time and we just, we run people away. We run people away from the church. Don't feel welcome at all. You know, some people make you purposely feel unwelcome so that you won't come back to their church. You know, I'm not saying all churches is like this and I'm not bashing churches, but I'm saying somewhere as a people of God, we have failed and we are to hold up the bloodstained banner for the people that are lost and that there's a place that they could come to a refuge that God can restore them set free, deliver them, you know? And I just thought about that. When we were in that room, it was like so much love. And I really, these are genuinely real people, y'all. I ain't pick up no fakeness. I ain't pick up no, man, we shouldn't have came here, you know? I ain't, I ain't pick up no sniggering uh, in the corner and whispering and stares, you know? It was just all pure love. And it almost made me wish 
like, wow, I think I left too soon. You know, here it is, some beautiful people I met and now I'm leaving, you know, but they made me feel so welcome that at least I know that if I come back to Atlanta, Georgia, and I'm gonna visit, I'm coming back, you know, um, that I have genuine friends that I have met and I thank God for him placing them in my life because last night they don't understand, you know, a lot of healing uh, went forth in that room because of the words that were spoken and it was full of love. And I just wanted to say that y'all. I sat up here and I, that was so, that was so, so important to me. And uh, I'm glad I went. I'm glad, I'm glad I went and I'm, gra I'm glad that Trey and Nene, they reached out to me and my family and the other one, the others accepted us as well because real knows real. Real recognize real, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just thankful and I'm grateful. So with that being said, I just wanted to tell y'all that, share that with you all, I had a good time. It is a vlog that was made, that's gonna go out and uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Cause this breakfast is so good y'all. And so healthy and lean. I just wanna tell y'all that y'all have a blessed Sunday. Cause I am, all right? Peace out in Jesus name, be blessed.